I think one of the, the satisfactions for me in traveling all over the world, especially um, to distant lands and remote countries, is that um, people don't know who I am. Uh, they don't know about Monty Python, they don't know all the things I've done. And that can be a great help, because actually, as a traveler myself, I like to watch the world. I don't want the world watching me. I like to be the observer rather than the observed. Occasionally, I'll get, get somebody who'll know Monty Python, and it's, it's very amazing when it happens, especially once on a tiny island in the Bering Strait between Alaska and Russia, very inaccessible, but we managed to get there, and there are a few Inuits still living there. And we filmed there, and, and as I was leaving, a, a little group of Inuits sort of were going to t show me a seal skin boat, which was going to take me across to Alaska. And we went down to the little jetty, and they followed me, this group of elders, and they bowed, and I bowed, and they bowed a bit more. So I thought there might be a special handshake, a nose rubbing, or something like that. But all that happened was the leader of the guys, just as I got in the boat, said, hey, aren't you the guy from Monty Python and the Holy Grail? So, you know, it doesn't really, doesn't really help. I like people not knowing who I am. It makes it much easier. And that's why I find, you know, meeting people in small villages in Sahara, in the Himalaya, uh, is better than meeting people in cities who might know who I am. Uh, somebody told you I was coming. <laughs> Michael Palin here, wishing you happy travels.